all right so it's rookie repairs back yet again all right so we have a check engine light cylinder three and yeah let me show you the code let's go ahead and start the car so have the machine plugged in let's go ahead and start your car Checking the lights on. All right, so let's go get the code. So just read the code. As you can see, cylinder three misfire. So not that long ago, I did the spark plugs, but not the coils. So most likely it's gonna be the coil on this one. I don't know if you see the code. P0303. All right, let's go ahead and check the coil. Turn it off, open your hood. All right, let's go check under the hood. So yeah, thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. All right, so the fire, firing order for this one is a 6.8 V10. So it starts off one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So cylinder three is located right here. It's gonna be the third one. this one right here all right let's go ahead and pull it out and swap it to cylinder one that coil put in here and this coil put it in there all right let's go ahead and swap them out so as i mentioned this is cylinder one two three i'm gonna go ahead and take out the third one let's go ahead and, so for that one's a size seven Go ahead and loosen the bolt so you pull out the coil. So, for each coil, it's roughly about I want to say 60 to 80 dollars. And this has 10 coils, so yeah, go figure. Let's pull it out, disconnect it from the electrical connection to the bottom. Just pull it out. You can see it just came off easily. And then disconnect the electrical. Since we're gonna swap it with cylinder one, this one. Go ahead and disconnect it. See it's in the bottom. Let's pull it out. Same thing with this one. So I got it now. All right, so here, this cylinder three. As you can see, it's nice and dry. It was really loose. As you can see, this was not even intact right here, as it's supposed to be. Let's go ahead and put it back in. All right, so we're topping it with the first one. We got the first one out. Let's go put in cylinder three. See, just a liner right there. So you hold to that bolt. After that, just gonna put your bolt. Go ahead and hand tighten it. All right. After you have it, the line, let's go ahead and tighten it. Don't forget to connect it back in. So as you saw, this was loose. Might have been just that. So this, 
has to be touching this. If not, it's the coil. That's bad. Just gonna put pressure on it. Put it back in cylinder one. So let's go to tighten that one. I'm gonna be careful you don't want to lose this bolt. As you can see, it's really small. After that, tighten it with your ratchet. Forget your connection. Let's click it back in. All right, so th there you have it. Let's go for a test drive. Hopefully, the check engine light doesn't come back on. If it does, we'll know that it's the coil that's wrong, that's broken. Or we'll just probably, if it doesn't, it was probably that. It was just loose. All right, let's take it for a drive now. So that's how you could test your coil or your spark wires. So yeah, I didn't even replace the coils on this one because as I mentioned, it's about $60 and I need 10. Yeah, so hopefully it was just that. We don't have to replace it. If not, we'll have to go to the junkyard and find one coil. Hopefully they have a coil that fits in there. All right, so let's go ahead and clear the code. I just cleared it. All you have to do is just erase the code and then they'll ask you, are you sure? Just press okay again, erase. Then it'll clear the code and now it's ready for a test drive. Drive it for about five, 10 minutes. The check engine light should come back on if it is required. So it should come back on shortly, like five, 10 minutes drive. So yeah, let's go to take it for a drive. Hopefully it doesn't come back. But... All right, so as you guys know that we switched the, I believe it was cylinder three, the coil and we switched it to cylinder one. And now as you can see, now it's marking the check engine light on cylinder one misfire. So yes. That's how you test the coil. Or also you could go, uh, go ahead and check the spark plugs. But as I mentioned earlier, we already swapped the spark plugs, but we didn't swap the coils on this one. Cause yeah, it's a, it needs a lot of coils. For this one is a V10, so there's 10 coils. So yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and replace the coil instead of all 10. All right, let's go ahead and get the part first and then reinstall the new one so all right rookies here's cylinder one cylinder two three the three and one we swapped them and this is a cylinder one that's giving us the check engine light let's go ahead and replace it this little bowl that's holding it it's a seven millimeter this one right here let's go ahead and remove it all right sorry loosening with my wrench let's go ahead and remove it I just ran the car from home to here, so it's a little bit hot, be careful. Let's pull it out. So here's cylinder one, coil one. Let's go to unplug it. There's a button right here. Just press down on to it and remove it. All right, so I already asked at the auto parts, each of this, each coil is about $60. I got this from the junkyard for 10 bucks. All right, let's go ahead and reinstall this one. As you can see, it has the same connection. That's the other one. Same connection. All right, let's go ahead and reinstall the one we just got. Go ahead and shove it in there. Go ahead and align it. Plug in your electrical. 
make sure it clicks. Gonna put your bolt back in there. The one that holds it in place. Alright, go ahead and hand tighten it first. After that, go ahead and tighten it with your ratchet. All right, so there you have it. Now let's go erase the code and drive for 10 minutes. Hopefully the, the check engine light doesn't come back on. All right, so I grabbed two coils because on the other side, I have one that's broken. The little hook right here that holds a bolt. But luckily that doesn't give us any check engine light, but we will go ahead and replace it. All right, rookies. So the next thing you have to do is clear the code. If you don't have a scanner, Go ahead and disconnect your negative terminal and for 30 seconds to a minute. After that, it should clear your code. But if you do have a scanner, as you can see, there's a sucker, the code we have. Cylinder one, let's go ahead and clear it. Go back. All right, so let's go ahead and erase it. So you can see the check engine lights on. All right, so let's go ahead and erase it. Delete, yes. So you can see now it's clear. We don't have a check engine light no more. So it's the same thing. If you go, go ahead and disconnect your battery if you don't have this scanner. And yeah, drive it for five, 10 minutes. And this is come back on. That's it. It's ready for smog. Or you done the repairs. All right, so that's it. All right, let's take it for a drive now. So far, it looks so good. No check engine light. All right, so another thing that to check if your car is ready for smog is your IM readiness. It's right here, we have a scanner. See that? Once all that's green, you know it's ready for smog. So hopefully, yeah, all we need is this one to go green and it's ready for smog. But if not, it'll be pending and you'll get a check engine light. But so far this looks like it will pass smog. We just need the catalyst converter to go green to be ready. So yeah, we fixed the problem. Cylinder one. Alright, so yeah, that's it for today. Alright, so that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.